theme? Did you catch this? You should have a purple tie. You'd be all set. If you had a purple tie this morning, we'd put you to work. That's what we would do. We pray the Lord's blessing upon you and welcome you to this uh, hour of worship as we have a chance to be able to celebrate Palm Sunday. So today's the day of our choir cantata, and we're excited about the sharing the story of Jesus with you through uh, the gift of music. This morning, we are uh, not only celebrating your presence with us, but we're celebrating the return of our Haiti team. So we had a team uh, in Haiti. They just returned this last Tuesday. They did some remarkable things while they were there. They worked with a, a group of kids there at Respire Haiti. They uh, provided some resources that uh, built uh, benches and tables for the kids to be able to eat on. When we were there last November, uh, they have a big Saturday feeding program for all the kids, about 250 kids who gather to be fed on Saturdays. And the only way that they can eat is just by sitting on the ground, just sitting in the dirt. But now they have tables and benches. They also took down a group of laptop computers and the team built a, a computer system, a computer rack for them, and did some training with their teachers. And uh, a great team, really delighted that they are, that they are back uh, with us once again. We want to remind you about uh, Easter Sunday worship services right here, same times, uh, 8 o'clock, 9.30, and 11 o'clock. If you're a regular 9.30 person, uh, we'd invite you to consider 8 o'clock or 11 o'clock for, for Easter worship, if you would uh, be flexible in that. Uh, all the services will be the same, a little variation in the music presentations, but all the services will be essentially the same. So make a choice about your Easter worship and uh, celebration. I want to introduce to you Julian Molina. Julian, come and join me up front. Will you do that? Julian is joining us. This is his very first day uh, joining us on board. He will be leading the way for us with our middle school and senior high young people. So Julian has just made the move from California, just arrived here uh, uh, midweek. And this morning is his very first Sunday. And if you would like to uh, meet him, you can meet him following the service. He'll be available to be able to greet you. But if you are a parent or a youth and you'd like to come at six o'clock tonight, it'd be a great time for you to be able to meet Julian and get engaged in that process. We want to say thank you to Corey Fitzpatrick. Corey, are you in the room right now? There you are. There you are. Hey, stand up real, th real quick. Thank you, Corey. Corey's been leading the way as we've been uh, through this uh, transition process. Thanks, Corey. God bless you. Well, will you likewise uh, greet Julie Molina and you'll have a chance to be able to meet him. God bless you. Glad you're on board. Okay. As we share the morning together, it's Palm Sunday and the kids are going to uh, lead us in a little Hosanna time as we uh, sing our opening hymn. But right now we want to invite you just to take a moment to uh, greet and welcome one another as we gather for worship. Will you stand where you are, reach out and introduce yourself to someone new. Greet each other in the name of our Lord Jesus.
our children and their uh, teachers who remind us of the uh, beauty of this uh, Palm Sunday morning as we gather together. What a great gift our children are to us. Uh, entire congregation is blessed because we have uh, so many remarkable young people and so many volunteers who are committed to making a difference in their life journey. Thank you so much. Well, as we gather on this Palm Sunday morning, we come together to be able to worship. We come together to be able to share the scriptures. We come together to be able to pray. And so as we pray together, let's pray that the blessing of this week, the holiest of weeks that is about to unfold before us, will be a remarkable journey for each one of our lives. Let's pray together, shall we? Lord Jesus, we give you great thanks that on this day you entered into the city of Jerusalem. You launched the last week of your earthly life and you were going to give yourself that we might have life and have life that is everlasting. And so we thank you for this day of celebration and this day of great hope. We thank you for our children. We thank you for families and loved ones. We thank you for parents and grandparents. We thank you for those who provide leadership for our children. We ask God that you would bless them this day in remarkable ways. And likewise, we ask that as we enter into this holy week, that we might know your presence in a deeper way, that we might be blessed because we have experienced the joy and the pain of this journey toward Easter. We pray, God, that you would gather us together on Thursday as we share the sacrament of the Lord's Supper, that you would teach us on Friday as we stand at the foot of the cross. And especially, Lord, we ask that you would gather us as we sing our word of praise together, a word of resurrection hope as we come on Easter morning. Bless churches all around our area, Lord. Bless churches around our nation and around our world. Grant us your grace and your peace through Jesus our Lord, who has taught us to pray this prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This gospel reading from the Gospel of Matthew as we hear the account of Jesus entering into Jerusalem on that first Palm Sunday as he was about to uh, enter into that last week of his earthly life. When they had come near Jerusalem and they had reached Bethage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say, just say this, the Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them, they brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed, they were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, who is this? The crowds were saying, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. 